Okay, welcome back everybody. Another episode of Better Presents. And uh, we're going to be mining out... Oh, found ourselves another cave, it seems. Which is linked to... Where the hell is this? Oh, okay. I know where I am. Just going to mine out a little bit of the space underneath the uh, processing storage room here because we're expanding it. You can see this this hammer is pretty good. I think I can get it a little better. I want it to be just a pinch faster. <clears throat> you can see the excavator is almost at creative mode speed. Almost. Not 100% there. Ooh, careful. You know what? Maybe faster is not a good thing because if you make a mistake, if you start mining something by accident, like I almost just mined out the floor by accident there, you don't have any time to react. Now, since I'm not, like, none of my base is built out of dirt anywhere, so I don't really mind. I don't really mind the fact that I've got dirt, uh, a usable dirt creature thingy jigger. All right. Move this one over. Okay. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building up a few more of these machines. And that's going to be because we're going to process things like obsidian. I'm going to process obsidian into its form of dust because obsidian dust is useful in the creation of a lot of different things. Um, how do we go about doing that when we've got... I want to keep the machines kind of in a row as they are, but I've got this room, this machine... or Sorry, I've got this thing of Thonecraft crap in the way. How am I going to deal with that? Well, i got to move this. And it's not working properly anyways. I need to put a filter because you can see here I've got I've got all these uh, Thomecraft entropy shards and and air shard and order shard all the shards are still going over to this uh, blank sorting box when they should be going over here and I know the reason for it is that it's bypassing this pipe here it's just looking looking along it doesn't see a filter here. Well, it doesn't have a sorting pipe anymore, but it doesn't see a filter for the for the different stuff here, so it just bypasses it, looks for the most, the closest empty one. Which is, this is kind of bullshit, because it should be finding this. The sorting pipe is supposed to determine that everything inside of this goes, is, 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 is what should be going in here. But because it's not in line at the top here, it's just skipping over it. Because it looks on this axis, and then it looks on the next axis. So, I'm going to change this. I'm going to move this chest over here somewhere. Probably into here. Damn it, i got to stop doing that. Probably into here <clears throat> with the other Thumbcraft stuff. So we need a couple of items, which I don't have anymore because they're gone. And I don't feel like, for the purpose of this episode, going through the hassle of trying to make them. We need a filter. We need this. This is a filter. Okay. I'll just grab 64 of those. Again, I, you know, don't. This is just for to show you guys how to make this stuff. Don't get upset. All right, then we need to make this into a sorting pipe. All right. But before we do that, we need to make sure that the filter has the stuff on it that we want to have on it. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna get rid of some of this extra crap in my inventory here, so, because we need some space. Okay. Flint. The hell do I even use flint for? Nothing as far as I'm aware. All right, so we need an order shard. We can get nine items on a filter. So we have to keep that in mind.
yellow, red, blue, green, gray, black. Yellow, red, blue, green, gray, black. Okay, so I got all those. Then I've got amber. Uh, I won't worry about this ethereal essence so much. I can always just manually move that thing. And those only show up when you destroy Aurora nodes anyways. So the only reason it's even here is because I destroyed Aurora nodes. But I do want Cinnabar to be on there. And is there any other Thaumcraft-esque item that ends up in this bit? Thaumcraft. Thaumcraft. Where are your things? Nope. That appears to be all of it. Okay. So, how do I move everything in this bin over to this bin and make sure that everything in this filter is the way I want it? So, I had a filter right there. Oh, break the pipe, break the pipe, break the pipe. There we go. I don't want things going in that, that chest without me putting them there. So, we're just going to do this. Open up the filter. Drop in each one of these shards. All right. So, now this filter right here will filter all of this Thomecraft crap. Okay, so we're going to put another sorting pipe back up. Okay, I'm going to open this up and we're going to stick in the filter, an item filter, which will only find Thomecraft items, okay? Boom, 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 boom. So let's get all this crud out of our inventory and stick it in there. So the problem over here was this sorting pipe was just not, not doing its job, right? I got a solution for that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to stick um, just a transfer pipe for right this second. Connect it over to this. Stick a transfer node on top of that. And load it up with that. And there we go. Why should I move everything manually when I don't need to? Look how much faster that was. So it's going to stick all the Thomecraft stuff in here, and going forward, the filter will automatically stick all Thomecraft items in there. This is now empty. So what we're going to do is we're just going to walk over here and grab all this Thomecraft related stuff that seems to be missing its spot. The yeah, Ethereal Essence won't make it through the filter because I don't have a spot for it. And we'll just open up this chest here and we'll stick all that in there and it should automatically go to the um, Thomecraft chest. Oops. Yep, and it did. All right, so now we have this chest here, and we have nothing inside of it. So we can just break this. Of course, I destroyed the marble ceiling by accident. No big deal. So what do I want to put in here? Well, over here I've got obsidian, and down here I have silver. Now, silver has a has a refining, uh, uh, refinable amount or ability to it. What is this? This is coal, and I'm almost full. I can't believe I have a crystal chest almost full of coal pieces. That's a lot of coal. That is a lot of coal. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Luckily, I think there is a way to condense that. If it doesn't exist in this mod pack, that's a shame, because it's one of the neater things. There was a way to condense items, so if you put nine items in a crafting grid of the same item, it'll put it into a condensed form of itself, and it does exist. A block of, well, if I put nine... Okay, so it doesn't exist in this mod pack. That's a shame. Maybe it only works with uh, irons and stuff like that. I'm, no, I'm almost 100% sure it works with coal. So, unfortunately, Sonnet or uh, Dire Wolf 20 doesn't have that installed. That's a shame. Because it's a pretty, pretty nifty little thing. Let's just get ourselves a crafting table quickly and we'll just make some space.
You know what? Let's get a Tinkerer's crafting table. That way it'll access the chest. Oh, come on. There it is. Crafting station. What the hell? Why aren't you accessing the chest? You tell me you can only access wood chests? Are you for real? Dude. Fail. Serious fail, dude. Oh crap, I'm missing two pieces of coal. Luckily this thing will hold on to its inventory. That's the only advantage it really does have is that it won't throw the inventory away. Um, actually, you know what? This gives me an idea. Because I don't want to have to build a whole huge <clears throat> network of chests to deal with large amounts of items, right? What I can do is I can set up an auto crafting station to automatically turn... 64 blocks, sorry, 64 um, stacks of coal into blocks of 64. That's something I can set up. That'll be pretty good. I can do that pretty easily. Um, for right now, though, let's just go back to working with this. So, what I want to do is I want to send. What was the item? Silver? Silver. I want to put silver into this chest here so that I can process it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a sorting pipe up top. Boom. And stick a piece of silver ore up in there. Okay. And we're going to reconnect that to the... Oh, we don't want to cross our pipe. To the chest. Okay, we're going to come over here to silver, which is here. There's so little amounts of silver. I'll just take it. It's kind of silly to go through the song and dance for something that there's like five stacks or six stacks worth. All right, so there's silver. Incredibly rare item. Like, makes gold. If this was reality, silver would be worth a hundred times what gold is. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna set this up the same exact same way that we were doing with the other stuff all right so all right so I I actually thought about it and this is incredibly wasteful because all you really have to do to prevent transfer between pipes actually in this case it wouldn't even matter it wouldn't even matter guys because there would be no transfer from a item node or transfer item node because item nodes only pump out stuff in one direction. So if I hooked up all these pipes, nothing... No, okay, yeah, okay, that, that would be a risk because I'd have to make sure I closed off the connection. Let's do a test. There. That will now transfer power between those two cables and items will not transfer between it. So I am correct in thinking that if, as long as I connect all these together, all I need is one of these guys connected up and everything will transfer between the two spots. Our power will, items won't. Okay, so that, that is what I was thinking in my head and I wasn't 100% sure if that would work or not, but it, it will work. So how do we do this? Okay, so what we do is we stick item transfer node up on this son of a gun. And it's starting to fill up. Oh, crossover node. The crossover node is only useful if you want to pass be behind some another transfer pipe, which I don't at the moment. Come on. I need one of these. One of these. Oh. 
There we go. Okay. So let's set these up the way they need to be set up. Configuration menu is so beautiful and easy to use. So on this one here, we have an, a blue input, orange output. Close off all the other connections. And the crystal chest will go on top. This guy here, we've got a blue input on the bottom. Yellow input on the top. Close off that. Or is it, am I doing orange on the top? Orange and yellow act the same way. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, yellow on the top, red on the right. Close off the back. There we go. So now the items will come up into this machine from the blue input that I just created on the bottom of it, which we'll see right there. Okay. There we go. Okay. And if things are working the way it should work, silver ore comes in there, silver dust goes in there. Beautiful. Exactly the way it should be working. So I just need a couple of crystal chests. And that's all there is to it, kids. Boom. All right. The next next machine would be for obsidian. But I'm more interested in this now. Making extra space for coal. Now, I just freed up, you know, like 18 spots. So we should be okay for now. And then we've got lead and dark iron ore, which I will never use because I'm not going to make any factorization stuff. Uranium and yellow right. This will be very useful, the yellow right especially, because I'm going to be building big reactors next. Uh, or at least soon. Not necessarily right next. And applied energistics, certus quartz, and energized... Where's the energized ones? Charged. Charged certus quartz, which you can tell because it's got a slightly brighter blue twinkle to it. Uh, charged service quartz, regular service quartz, and nether quartz are going to be big, big deals. So, um, if I ever want to do the applied, the new applied energistics, which I do, I'm going to have to get myself some of that stuff. I should actually add nether quartz to that list there, but I need to get nether items. Okay. Sorting system still works just beautiful. A little stone, a little cobblestone in this box here. And I'm getting my good stuff over there. Now, where are my diamonds and stuff? I don't remember where I got those. Glowstone. Diamonds and emeralds. There we are. And this is just an empty chest right now for if this thing starts getting too full, I can always uh, transfer everything over there. Okay, guys. So we uh, added another machine to the assembly line. Next episode, I'm going to put a quarry in the nether. That's right. So that's what we're going to be doing next because we need to start we need to start getting some nether resources. Glowstone, for example. We need more of that. Qu uh, the quartz, the nether quartz, as I mentioned. I need a lot of that. Here's where netherrack's going to go. And uh, I'm going to stick... Another quartz into this bad boy here. So next episode, guys, we're heading back to the nether. Have some more nether fun with the nether jerks. And uh, maybe even get some more blaze, blaze rods since we're probably running low on those. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you all in the next episode of Evan Better Presents. Thanks for watching, guys.